What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? So what we're going to be doing right now is another Dallas Cowboy theme team update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I know you guys been waiting a long time for me to do this update. I made sure that I got the objectives and everything done in order to get the free Cowboy players that I needed. I got them done probably within the first day or so, but I wanted to wait because I was doing a lot of other things. But anyways, we're getting around to it right now. I'm going to show you guys all the new cards. I already powered them, powered them all the way up to save time so I could just show you what abilities and so forth I put on them as well as their attributes and everything else. And just show you how I have the whole new Dallas Cowboy theme team aligned. So let's go ahead and uh, get it started. So with Mike White, so for so look, so this is all a fully Dallas Cowboy theme team. There's no one that never played for the Cowboys or we're or weren't basically drafted or whatever by the Cowboys. There's some that didn't get the team cam, like for instance, someone like Mike White. You guys made it known to me. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that he got drafted by the Cowboys. You guys told me this. I made sure that I went to go look it up just to validate what you guys were saying to make sure of it. So when I looked it up, yeah, the Cowboys actually drafted him. Don't know why they didn't keep him, but they did draft him. And so what we do is because the Cowboys drafted him and he was a Cowboy for a short period of time, we're going to put him on the Cowboy squad. Don't know why EA don't give him the chemistry, but they give other players like Beast Mode and everything, the Dallas Cowboy chemistry or Team, Ke Team Kim chemistry, which is not bad. That's cool. But why won't you give a player that actually got recruited by the Cowboys or actually got drafted or you know they actually put them on the team or whatever the case may be even if they never played a snap so that's what i don't understand but anyways pretty sure maybe in the near future or maybe next year or sometimes eventually they'll get around to doing stuff like that but they're not but anyways let's go see uh his x factors and so forth so he gets gambler high low dead eye pro reads running gun bazooka blitz radar brick wall and omaha i put omaha i haven't put omaha, omaha on my qbs for a while so i'm gonna go ahead and try it out because he is a little bit um, better when it comes to Dak and how far he throws it even though Dak been looking like he's been playing um, Like he's been a 90 overall the whole time like yeah I wouldn't even mind going back to him if I had to because he was playing that good But anyways, I put identifier on him because it's only one P on a QB I don't understand on the linemen. They go for two QB um, two AP I'm sorry two AP and it's only one AP on here on the QB It, it doesn't make no sense, but to save AP I want to make sure that I put identifier on him I put Homer. I mean, I mean, I put Homer. I mean, he got Homer, Clutch, Indoor Baller, Inside Dead Eye, Lofting Dead Eye, Sideline Dead Eye, Red Zone Dead Eye, Long Long Range Dead Eye, Tied Out, and Second Win. Second tier abilities, I put Long Range Dead Eye, so perfect pass accuracy on all deep throws. So if I throw it deep, you know, I'm hoping that he makes it, you know, pretty pretty accurate. Things happen, but you know, we'll see what happens. Come back, gift wrapped, pocket dead eye. Set feed elite, safety valve, quick draw. People are saying safety feed elite is is pretty good. I don't know if it's still good. Please let me know. Maybe I'll use it um, down the line or something. He gets clutch, homer, inside dead eye again, indoor baller, identifier, lofting dead eye, long range dead eye, red zone dead eye, second win, tied out, sideline dead eye, and recuperation. So that's second tier abilities, which is actually pretty good. I know there's other QBs that get a lot better, but you know what though? I will say right now, his power up was only going for 3K when I bought it. I know originally he was going for like 20, 30K or even more when he first came out. It's low right now. I was able to buy it at cheap and we got the card for free. Besides me just powering him up, which costs like a thousand training or something like that. It was very cheap to get this guy. So for, for that being said, this is a pretty decent card. Third tier abilities, he gets closer, fearless, pass immediately. I don't know if these two are, maybe you guys could, uh, let me know if these guard these, these are actually worth it. Um, gift wrap, uh, gift wrap, comeback, threat detector, pocket dead eye, which I put on them. Perfect pass accuracy while throwing from the pocket. Hopefully that works. Quick draw, um, safety valve, clutch, sleight of hand, set feet lead, homer, identifier, indoor baller, long range dead eye, lofting dead eye, inside dead eye, red zone dead eye, sideline dead eye, tied out, recuperation, and second win. So team Kim, he's only getting jets. So they, they must have given he must have went from the Cowboys to the Jets, even though he don't get the Cowboy Cam. Now his attributes, mind you, because he don't get the Cowboy Cam, he don't have all the boosts that the Cowboys are able to have. So, anyways, he's coming in at 79 speed, 90 throw power, 92 short accuracy, 89 mid accuracy, 85 deep accuracy, 85 throw under pressure, 86 throw on a run, 90 play action, which is actually a real decent car. And he's 6-5. So awareness is 81. Let's see what else. Carry a 70, which is actually pretty decent. All right, so that's it for him. So that's what we have on him. That's what we're going to use when we do the gameplay 
I will be having gameplays coming up soon just to let you guys know. The second person that we upgraded was Tyler. He got a new card. He got. I wish there were 89s and powering up to a 90. It doesn't make sense on why they gave him an 88. But it is what it is. Just happy to have a 89 overall center now. And yes, we did fully power him up. So you guys can see what actually abilities he gets. I'm going to go ahead and go over him. Even though I didn't put nothing on him. He gets Edge Protector. Fool me once. Lifeguard. Puller Elite. Unspin. Natural Talent. Tier... Tear proof and tough nut. Second tier abilities post up all day, metador, screen protector, edge protector, fool me once, unspin. So he gets everything else he gets on the first tier. He don't get to identify or anything else, which is fine, you no, know, because we, we already get on other players. And these are actually the art he gets. I put this one, the superstar. Eventually, I'll use the team builder one. I just wanted to make it a little bit different. And he also gets this one just, just to change it up see his attributes he got 91 strength 91 awareness 84 pass block 81 pass block power 85 pass block finesse which it's not that crazy but you know it is what it is 81 run block 84 pass uh run block power 88 run block finesse so his run block is better but you know we'll see how he operates out there as we're out there using him in the gameplay lead block 89 so it's pretty decent like i said it's not all that but hey we got to upgrade to our center so i'll take it so at anything, he's like the top one that we actually got. But this is the rest of the Dallas Cowboy theme team. Just, just so you guys know, we have on the squad right here. Fully gooned up. Yes, we will be using Mike White all the way up until we actually get Dak Prescott or another actual. Well, I mean, he, he was a Cowboy, but one that actually gets the chemistry. So whoever, I mean, whoever we get next, and that's what we'll use. So, okay, so the other guy over here, Randy Gregory. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So yeah, those two. So we got three new players. So here's Randy Gregory. Let's go ahead and go over his X factors, and then we'll go over his attributes. X factors gets fear monger, unstoppable force, reinforcement, blitz, relentless, run stuffer, momentum shift, selfless. Oh, first tier abilities. There we go. Adrenaline rush, Bogo, extra credit, Mr. Big Stop, indoor baller, Homer, speedster, spinner, swim club. First, I'm um, second tier abilities. Clutch, instant rebate, reach elite. Under pressure, which I put just to see if it works. I don't know. We're going to try it. I haven't used it all year, but we're going to see because all these other ones, I don't feel that they really work great, but I mean, I also don't know either. Ripper, unpredictable, unfakeable, adrenaline rush, Homer, extra credit, BOGO, indoor baller, Mr. Big Stop, Speedster, recuperation, swim club, and spinner. Kim's, he only gets the cowboy cam. Font, he gets the team builders. He gets this power up, and then he also gets his gold card that he gets so whatever you guys want to use what i do like about this card he is pretty fast than our last right in even though our last right in is a 90 overall and then we also got everson griffin which is 91 and he's a goon he's still on the squad but i took the other one out just so you guys actually know right which is let me go ahead and uh, compare just to show you guys where is he at marcus spears i do like marcus spears he's plays pretty decent his play reg, you know, his block sheen power move is, is a lot better. So he does make, but he's not that fast. So that's why I took him out for now. If he actually has all his training, he's actually, even though it says now right there because he's powered up, I might just use him for training. And then later on, I'll probably get him back. But we'll see how it goes. If he's not that much for training or he don't get his full training, I'm just going to keep him. But right now, he's not in the lineup. So let me go back to the, I don't know why I backed out. But that's why I like Randy Gregor because he's faster. He goes up to 87 speed, 93 acceleration, 83 strength, 84 tackle, 84 player wreck, 97, 79 block shed, 79 power move, 88 finesse move. Decent, but like I say, he comes in at 6'6", which is good. But what I like about him mostly is his speed. I keep him as a spy. And when he gets through that line, he'll be able to chase the QB down. Look at his jumping. It's 91, which is great. It's stiff arm. Was that stiff arm? 76. That's funny. Was that lead block? 88. Oh, hit power. His hit power is 85, which is actually pretty decent. So, okay. So, it's actually pretty, pretty decent. So, then we're the top three new cards that we got. These are the players that we actually have into the lineup right now still. Trayvon Diggs, Byron Jones. I didn't get the... I had the full version of Byron Jones when he first came out. I used him on the gameplay. Then I took him out. Later on, I get the full version. To me, he's not worth emptying out all your coins. Just have a well-rounded team out so you could be out there, enjoy your team, and, and actually win more games. Don't go out there and spend all your coins on one player. It's not going to make a big difference. The big difference comes in while rounding out your team and having equal value on all the positions as much as you can. So that's what it comes down to. 
but anyways this is a squad this is what i do one of the things i did add real quick just real quick before i end it is i was able to add a wide receiver i mean deep route special which is goes to the wide receiver it gives where we go plus one speed to all my wide receivers if i get another one for the halfback i will keep keep that and keep one for the wide receivers and one for the halfback i did have the one for the halfback i traded it in because the first one that i did I, I didn't get no type of speed boost so i just traded it in and i was fortunate enough to get the wide receiver one so i will do it eventually again as i get these strategy cards and so forth and trade them in and actually you know complete these sets and hopefully that i get it if i don't and i end up with the halfback one again i'm gonna say keep that i'm gonna keep the wide receiver the halfback one and on defense, I'm gonna keep the cornerback one, and I'm hoping I can get one for all the linebackers, which will give a, a plus one speed to my linebackers as well as my cornerbacks. Once I get that, I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'm gonna be done with it. So I really don't care for having plus two speed on my cornerbacks or plus two speed on my wide receivers. And the reason why is because that's all that's all the speed that it that goes to, which is just the cornerbacks and wide receivers. So I want to spread it out and show love to my halfback as well as my as my linebackers but like i said if i do pull the cornerback one and it's different from the one i have i will use it but eventually once we get around to pulling the linebacker one i will use that but anyways there it is there there's a squad um be expecting the gameplay shortly because i will be getting gameplays out within the next couple of days or so maybe even sooner but i'm working on a lot of gameplays for you guys to put them out so stay tuned for that hopefully the thanksgiving promo comes out soon and we're gonna we're gonna be able to get more players i will be making more content on that so stay tuned but anyways there it is there if you guys like seeing what you've seen drop a like on the video if you guys need subs up to the channel there will be more great amazing content coming your way thank you guys all for tuning in i'm out